Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator with another tutorial that is not on Blender. I, I was kind of running out of some ideas for Blender tutorials. Um, I've just made a few recently, so I'm still trying to decide on a couple to make. So, in the meantime, I thought I'd make some some other tutorials. So today's tutorial is on making a, a video or a movie in Windows Movie Maker. So, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need for a movie or a video is your video, obviously. So click on the import video and you'll have an import file box open up. Find the file that you'd like to import. So I'm going to import, let's just do this. So now, depending on how long your clip is, it'll take a couple of minutes or less than a minute to import the files. Now. And the video file that you import is going to be turned into a bunch of video clips and I'll explain that in a second. Well pretty much it'll, I'm not exactly sure why it splits it into a bunch of clips. I guess because one giant clip is too long so it cuts it off at sections that I guess are like are changing maybe. Maybe, it, I think it might read like a big change in the, in the scenery of the, of the video and it'll kind of cut it into clips so that maybe you can put like a transition in or a title or something. So, I'll just give it another minute. But while this is going, I'd just like to um, thank you guys for supporting me once again. Um, um, I need a couple more subscribers, guys. Come on, you gotta help me out a bit. I'm stuck at 12. I've been stuck at 12 for a couple days. It's not good. Not good. I need more. Need more. Need more! I'm going to hopefully become a YouTube partner so I can have my own little banner above my video and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, as you can see, it'll tell you how many clips you've created here. Now, it'll keep updating and sometimes it won't update to the exact amount that it made. So right now it's at 47 clips. Now this is like a 9 minute long video that I just imported, so that's why. <sighs> I hate old computers. Okay. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to hold your left mouse button down and just drag a box and go down until you've selected everything. Then you just click on one and keep holding the click and drag it down to get this little shape of your arrow with like a transparent box and then a plus sign plus your arrow. And it'll add it in and you won't see some of your videos appearing, you'll just see this, your scroll bar getting smaller and smaller, indicating that it's adding more clips. So just give that a second. Okay, so this is your timeline, and you now have all of your clips in here. So to see a preview, this this uh, thing right here, you can click on anywhere on this part of the timeline, and it'll uh, drag it there, like click, or you can just click inside that and drag it. That's showing you what point of time that you're at. And to preview your video, you can just drag this back to the beginning press um, this play button over here and then you'll see a preview up here so just as an example you see that running and there's no audio or anything so um, just just say you wanted to import audio or music um, I usually have a bunch of problems with mp3s mp3 files I can't I just it's ridiculous it's all the time a bunch of stupid it's it's ridiculous so I think what I used was uh, dot wave yeah I think I used dot wave or wav or d dot wav um, I don't have any files out of that so I'm just gonna leave it at that and um what you can do is you would just ha it would just be like a bit a, a note here like one of these except it would look like a giant note and you click and drag it down into your audio music um, thingy timeline part right here so say you want a title added to your video what you do is you make sure this is down and make titles or credits click on that I'm sorry it just goes so slow when I have one. all right 
So you can add a title at the beginning of the movie, uh, before the selected clip, on the selected clip, after the selected clip, or credits at the end of the movie. So if you click on a clip here, you can add one before the clip, on the clip, or after it. I'm just going to add one to the beginning of the movie. And then you type in your stuff. So let's say, Hi, YouTube, thanks for watching my video. I don't care how I type, la la la. I'm just being an idiot. So, you can see a preview of it over here, and then just press play to preview the actual thing, which is, that's boring. So, change the title animation. Um, this one fades in and out. This one flies in and fades, so you can see that. Um, you have one, it's like a sports scoreboard, but it never works correctly. You can have a newspaper, but it also never fits fully. Um, I don't know if it does after you add it into your movie or not, but I don't think so. It will just fly out, it will fade in, pause, and it flies out right, like that. And you can do, like, credits kind of stuff, like this. Blah, 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 credits, mirror, it flies in from both sides, like that. Uh, you can have a big banner coming in. You have it fill with paint. This is kind of a neat one. Kind of drips down. Now, if you want, you can change the text font and color. So let's just change it to uh, mm, Franklin Gothic Heavy. You make it transparent. Make it non-transparent. Change the color of the background. Let's make it black. Change the color of the text. You can make it orange. Harley Davidson colors. You know, you can increase the size of your font. You can decrease it. You can position everything so it's positioned to the left, middle, right, bold, italic, underline. And then you can done add title to the movie. And if you play if it doesn't lag like a terrible piece of crap that my computer is, let's play. You'll see. Hi YouTube, thanks for watching. And then your video pops up. You can also add video effects, which will turn your video just changes the way it happens. So Let's speed up my video double on, uh, right there, I guess. Make that twice as fast. Now you look up and it's really fast. You can, like, make it, you can just keep adding the speed up double so that it just flies through really fast. See, now it's just having a seizure. And then, you can, um, pixelated um yeah you can now see it's crappy quality can mirror the vertical so now it's like upside down you can make it change colors and whatnot like this So it'll all, it'll keep changing colors, and then you can right-click on here and click on video effects, and you can just add or I'm gonna remove the pixelate and remove the vertical. You can add video effects just from that. So let's press OK and play, so I can watch everything change color. So that's pretty neat. Then you advance a little bit, and it'll be a different color. Advance more, it'll be red and you have your this kind of looking effect here which is just ridiculous you can't see anything at all just pointless um, like you can do it to this one maybe you can see something I don't know 
but this tutorial is getting long, so I'll finish this in a part two.